Hello. Um, my name is Hideki Yoshimoto. Um, I, I think my academic background is quite interesting because um, I studied um, aerospace engineering in Tokyo University with a particular focus on artificial intelligence and human computer interaction. And then um, six years ago, I came to UK to study my um, PhD um, degree at the Royal College of Art in a course called Innovation Design Engineering. On completion of it last year, um, I founded this company called Tangent Design and Invention Limited. So um, today I want to introduce what we are doing in this company. This is one of the most, I think, the popular um, works of ours called Inner Home. Um, Inner Home means uh, paddy rice field in Japanese language. It's a kind of kinetic sculpture or kinetic installation um, inspired by that um, ears of rice, which is, which, which is something to us Japanese. This is actually motion activated, so when nobody's there, it doesn't move and it doesn't light. When you approach it, it, it starts swaying and following with you, following you with um, a swaying motion and light. And this is kind of scenes behind um, of development of the early stage prototypes. We do electronic, um, electronics design, electronics assembly. I do software coding. And then we we solve the we cut wood, we fabricate woods, we fabricate plastics, we do metal works. Of course, we have some suppliers in London, but we assemble everything in house. It's a lot of complexity here, but we do everything. And these, well, you know, it looks like a bomb, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> Inside. But now it creates this really poetic, beautiful um, phenomenon. And look at this projection on the ceiling, it's really gorgeous. So the point of our activity is really like, we, we use a lot of different um, types of components, elements, materials, um, processes. Of course, you know, you know, for example, this, this product uses aluminium, stainless steel, mild steel, brass, two kinds of different um, engineering plastics, and, and wood, sensors, uh, circuit boards, LED, solenoid, and carbon fiber. <laughs> but it doesn't look like that. You know, it's so simple, so elegant, and it's it's poetic, and then that's the that's the thing. We, you know, for us or for me, technology is not something which we want to show off, but um, it's it's all about experience. It's all about um, phenomenon. And another unique point of my company is, I think is that we are selling this as a product. I don't think many people in my field, which is like a small field, but which is um, bridging technology and, and design and craft and art, uh, do not sell products in, a, in, a, in industry. They are, in most cases, they are either fine artists or they are doing installation for events or, you know, um, advertising um, industry, but I am looking at furniture and an interior industry, and uh, I want to make products and sell them by ourselves. So I'm calling Tangent, not design studio, but um, design brand. We quite recently launched this new Chandelier version, which was um, shown at an exhibition called Future Heritage in a, in a Decorex trade fair during this year's London Design Festival, which was quite successful. This is another quite unusual product, um, which is a table, 
coffee table. Where I pour liquid. This liquid is um is specially mixed for this particular product by a, a soap manufacturer. But it's it's almost like honey, like artificial honey with no no um, smell or no or attraction or bags. And uh, this I pour another layer of liquid, which is silicon oil, colored in this dark brown color. And then from this combination of two liquids, you will see air bubble coming up. This, these bubbles are not made by heat. It's, um, they are made by tiny, tiny electric air pump, which is originally developed for, um, for cooling motherboards in a laptop computer. I found that product and then I thought it's, I, I, you know, I'm using it to bubble in <laughs> honey. <laughs> Kiho means uh, bubble in, again, in Japanese. Recently, I designed um, this new shape, which is, which I think is more, more elegant. And then this is, this is my colleague shaping, sculpting the shape of this table from uh, layers of MDF and then plywood. So it's, it looks quite crafty, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So again, again, you know, what I'm, what I'm, what we are doing is kind of, you know, true integration of technology or electronics, mechan mechatronics, in 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 craft. I think I would say, and then um, we are making this smaller version, a single bubble in the ceramics and the glass vessels, designed and made by my friend. Um, Ceramic and glass designer Betin and Chem. I don't have enough time to to show um, every works of ours, but this is um, helium balloon floating in the air, um, illuminating the space according to the music being played in the space for music event and fashion events, which is actually originated in in my master's student work se seven years ago which was not for Master of Fine Arts, but Master of Science of Aeronautics and Astronautics. <laughs> we did um, this very large installation commissioned by um, a company called Aizen, Japanese massive automotive parts supplier in the Toyota Group in this year's Milan Design Week, which won an um, award, Milan Design Award. Um, we were selected one of five best uh, installations out of 1,200 something, which was very good. And then lastly, this is, um, this is the latest project we did in Dubai Design Week a couple of weeks ago. We made an animation which, is, which was screened on the LED facade of the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa, which was massive, you know, of course. This is no rendering, this is real, so it was, um, which was um, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we are doing this, you know, um, as a design brand, we are making those products, but at the same time, we are doing various projects, but the core is bringing poetics, bringing phenomenon, bringing, bringing a beautiful experience, using a lot of materials, which includes um, mechatronics. So that's, that's tangent, so if you like, us um, visit our website and follow us on uh, Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Thank you very much.